Hello and welcome to playing chicken on a motorway simulator with me, Kevin Sawyer. Uh, the day simulator is trying to run in and out the traffic without getting run over. That is today's admission. Nah, just joking. It's Euro Truck Simulator. Um, hope you guys and girls are all well and enjoying the day. And today I've got you to show you this, which is the Renault T range. The Renault Range T, how it's pronounced on the, on this um, website. Of course, I will leave links down below so you guys and girls can have a look at it and have a go on it for yourself. Um, details are pretty good. Um, out um, it's got some uh, quite a fair amount of customizability um, on the outside the insides a bit lacking I will go into that uh, once you have downloaded it and installed it um, you will find it if I go to truck dealers and then if you go to Renault's trucks this is something in the new update which I kind of like but I don't like at the same time um, if you go to mod authorized dealer you can find it a lot easier the downside to that is you can't actively drive it straight away unless you're in the actual even if you're in a showroom it doesn't appear in the showrooms anymore it only appears on its own category uh, so once you've got it select it confirmation configure come on gonna configure it um, right you've got three um, cabs you've got day cab Sleeper cab with a bit of a bit of a scoop on the top there, just for wind affection. And then you've got the full out big boy um, sleeper chassis. You've got a fair few to select from. Uh, you've got four by twos, six by twos. So six by two. It's a six by two. I find it hard to believe. That looks more like a six by four to me. Let's say six by four or six by twenty-four. That says six by twenty-four. Um, yeah. Six by two slash four. Okay, I don't know what it's on about that. Uh, I got the mid lift. Tag lift. Standard six by four. And then this bad boy, it's got a, that on the back of it. That's pretty mean, actually. I like that. Uh, it's like a donkey unit sitting on top of there. Uh, that covers the chassis. Engines, let me just make sure. Nope, that's the only mod that's selected. So these are the engines you can get through. Now, I warn you in advance, some people have been reporting that they don't hear the sounds on this. I don't know if he's fixed that since that or what but do be get prepared for that um, seems to be working fine for me but other people's mileage may vary um, transmissions 12 speed 6 speed 12 more speed 6 speeds more 12 speeds interiors only one to select unfortunately um, bit of a shame them's are the brake color options you've got a few there to there's some here that's a bit weird I don't know why they've got this little looks like it's not being it's like finished right or done right um, but you get the idea uh, accessibility like I say there's quite a few um, options on here you can stick bumpers on if you so wish although they don't sit flush with truck it sits slightly off there so do bear that in mind here you can choose different grills if you've got the I think this will work better if you think if you've got the Griffin mod I think it will work but I don't know if it doesn't or doesn't work with the Griffin mod or the Griffin DLC try it 
if you don't have it, you'll know straight away it's not giving you as many options. Um, but you do get a few options there to choose from. And then you can just choose that however you want. You can have it painted. You can stick some ball bars if you want to again on there. Uh, I think over here, yep, yeah, you change the that. You can have it as plastic, stock, or painted. Uh, here, again, you can have them paint, plastic, or standard. And then again, you can choose if it's got lights or not. I don't actually see any difference in them. This is lights on and lights off. No idea. Uh, down here, again, you can change the front out to class, uh, paint or plastic. Again, personal preference. Uh, here you've got stock chrome or paint. Again, personal preference. Here you've got paint. Up here, you can have paint. Up here, you can have paint. Up here, you can have paint. You're getting where I'm going with this, aren't you, peeps? Over here, you can have paint, chrome, alley. Whatever you prefer, plastic. Up here, again, some of them have this weird thing going on. I'll show you. With it. See, it disappears. It gives you options here, which then you can stick stuff onto if you wish. May work, let's try it. So yeah, that's if you really just want to stick your horn on there um, and don't want to have the hassle of having a an actual bar across the top of your cab. The downside to that is you can't actually stick any lights on there, which is a shame. But then you can, you know, mix it up however you like. Again, personal preference. Up here you can stick lights on here and then it gives you choices for interior lights now again another comment was the interior lights weren't working I went for the old classic heavy hall lights just because um, over here you can again customize that one thing I have just noticed on this if I go if I show you over here I've just noticed the new dot I didn't notice that before oh, yes, I guess I did I've seen that one gives you a little, weird little logo there you just got again you got to be angle it just right so you can get the trim just right to what you want you can have that again chrome plastic whatever you like uh, again wheels are fully customizable with anything you have same for the um, wheels, the self tires and wheels. So again, stick whatever you like on there. Um, again, depending on chassis type, you do actually get a side skirt on here as well. I actually go back to the smaller chassis over here, and then go back to accessories. Oops, I want accessories. Then you should see it pop up just like that. And you can stick it on. Um, Around the back again, you can change the wheel arches out to painted. Um, one thing I have noticed, I'll show you if I can see it on here. Is it this one? Oh no, this is the four one, so you can does use the some of that dynamic. Is it this one? No. It's a dot that appears, and you can change it out. Is it on this side of the truck? Ah, oh, here we go. If you change, you can change it over from there. It should then change out. But notice how I've changed over this side. But if I flip over, it doesn't automatically then change this side over. You have to then come over and do it. So bear that in mind, because that might catch you out. Um, that more or less concludes all the dots on the outside. Uh, let's just make sure I haven't missed anything. Nope, covered that. with that going in the inside uh, very sparse you can stick number plates on but that's about it um, 
you can't do anything else in the interior at all not even with the cabin DLC on the interior doesn't look too bad looks like a basic standard Renault setup and I'll jump in it so you guys can hear its glory or jump under it as that always seems to happen let's um, jump in and then let's fire it up so you guys can see it here on the inside do it again Seems a bit quiet in here. Weirdly enough. It was louder when initially. Might be because we're where we are. Um let's try this one. All the lights should work. Bring them all up. Full beam. Hazards. On the back quarters as well, they all seem like they work as well. Let's try reverse. Yeah, reverse works as well. Right, let's get on the road. Turn the lights out, we don't need them. Now, you've joined me here, I've made a start on the journey already, but I'll show you where... I started off from here, and... I'm going down to here. Um, I don't think I've discovered that yet. Um, I haven't done much of it, Italy. As yet, there's quite a fair bit over here I haven't really discovered either. But I'll try and do a bit of it. Oh, there's a bit down here as well. Nice, didn't even notice that. Cool, alright. The only downside with this, I'd say the wheel isn't adjustable. So, look, you have to sort of like if you've got tracker IR, oh, you're alright, you can get around it, but if you haven't, you're going to find yourself struggling to see the full instruments, although you don't really need to see that bottom quarter, that's just kind of telling you the actual mileage, but... Can you let me out, mate? Nope. I'm going to creep forward, and see you bully my way out. Yep. It's the only thing I can do. Um, I don't know if it's just this trailer, as I coast off there because I'm trying to move a cable, um, or whether it's this truck itself. Um, just be mindful. Um, it seems a bit top heavy as I go, go a bit quicker. I'd say it's probably the trailer that's probably tipping me over. Looking at the way the trailer's moving. And not the tractor unit itself. So I've got the lift axle down. So it might just be the trailer that's causing it. That's because I literally, just before recording, I had a little bit of an incident coming in. I was going a bit quick and I tipped it on its side good old lead foot strikes again so I'm keeping it around 50 this trailer we could be on anything so bear that in mind just bear that in mind um, let me know if you've tried this model already and you have the same problem especially if you've got the same physics 
well as adjusted the physics like I have to make it more immersive. So I adjust myself in the seat. It's a score. I've got the um, my bedroom windows open because um, it's just absolutely boiling. And it's 31 degrees outside. And I'm going to probably, after recording this, I'm going to go and have a bit of a chill out in the sun, methinks. Keep right and then exit right. I've been on a prowl for it's like decent, half decent Euro truck. Exit. Right. Um, voice navigations. Um, I tried the US one, but it was a bit hit and miss on its guidance. One minute it'd be working, the next minute it was the Google Maps one. Google Maps one's on the uh, on the Steam Workshop. It would work one minute and wouldn't work next, so I just went with defaults for now. You can let me out, dude. Thank you very much. A bit too wide there. slow down here because I've got a funny fin I'm gonna end up tipping over if I don't seems a bit stupid believe me but you go around that corner a bit too quick and jerk the wheel a bit too quick you're on your side it's not very forgiving I'd say it's probably more the trailer I'd have to test it. My gut's going with more trailer than the cabin itself. So it seems like the trailer seems to be taking all the weight to one side. Wouldn't surprise me because it's all sort of like top heavy. Whoa, see that? See what I mean? No, 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 no. That was close. That was very close. Almost lost it. See what I mean? The whole thing almost just tipped over. I was going a bit quick, admittedly, but not that quick. Going a bit too quick. Must be 40 down around here. The other thing is, again, looking at the sat nav in there because the way the wheel is unless you lean over you can't actually see what speed you're meant to be doing unless you see a road sign or we'll bring up the in-game sat nav I'll leave it at 40 just to just for now in the head, it's like a Scania's in trouble. And that's 100 kmh, so it should be 50. So I'm going to go about, I'll increase it to about 45, just as a safety margin, this trailer, if you let me. beautiful scenery that should do it, I'm going to leave it at that seems a bit quick still to me even me and my lead foot thinks it's a bit daft going to the speed of this trailer A 
lots and lots of tunnels. Yeah, I'll keep looking on Steam Workshop for more voice navigation um, mods. And I can't remember if it was for this or ATS I did one. Uh, there's, there's, there's a Star Wars one. No, no use um, sightseeing, Kev. You've got to keep your eyes on the road. Oh, here comes the rain. So we're going to turn the wipers on. Turn. Oh, the lights are still on full on. Let's turn them off. It's good. A good test of the wipers. See if they actually do clear the windows. They do a fairly good job. Three settings do work. And the rain effects do work quite well on the truck by looks of it as well. Try and get a thimble in as well. As long as we don't get a tunnel, which I thought this was going to lead to a tunnel. Once I get out of this tunnel, I'll uh, try and take a thimble for the uh, episode. I think I'll leave it at that. There's light at the end of the tunnel. Right. There's another little lay-by there. That's, I wouldn't want to park in that, unless it was an emergency. Right, let's take a... shot for the thimble. Photo mode. Photo mode. Is that a golf? Ah. Oh. Just slightly. Uh, focus in position. Chunk. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Right, and I think I'll leave it at that, peeps. I hope you guys and girls enjoyed the episode. If you did, again, guys and girls, feel free to like. Um, if you didn't enjoy it ooh, for any reason, any reason at all, feel free to dislike. Um, leave comments either way, so then I can at least try and to improve in the future. And if you know anyone else that may also enjoy watching this, guys and girls, please feel free to share. It helps me out a lot, and I don't mind you sharing. And if you're new to my channel and you see future episodes of this or anything else I'm working on, please don't forget to hit the note well, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so I need you informed as soon as I upload a new video. I'll see you in the next one. TTFN.